hello zambia hello youtube uh welcome to my channel once more uh this is ignatius and today i'll be explaining further on the tonal balance control and why we need to use it uh -huh. well we need to utilize it in zambia hmm okay so here's the thing i'll play uh the song that i've been working on again uh, as I said earlier, I'm still upcoming, so bear with me once more. So here's the song without uh, the implementation of the tonal balance control and everything that you need to use in order to make it work. Here we go. Sometimes. Nikangala pansi ni mayambo gani za shabe pali wewe Pali vintu vonse vetenzo chita paza ukali wanga iwe Nisiba ni nalakwa but I need you in my life Kaya ni chani china lengesa kote ni kuplay iwe Mweti na sigilana pakasi mena sima ni mpanga Tiwe chabe weka All right, so that's about it. And uh, one way to make the tonal balance control work is that you need to work hand in hand with another EQ uh, plugin. So in my case, I use the Ozone uh, Vintage EQ. Yeah. So how this work is that? Uh, let me let me switch them on. Yeah. And sorry for the noise in the background, the static noise. Yeah. So how this works is that uh, you you first uh, need to find where there's a, a bunch of instruments. Uh, the I mean you have to find the loudest part of the song. Okay, so in my case that would be the chorus. Somewhere here, yeah, it's here. Yeah. So what I do. Yeah, what I do is that I I, pl I place the tonal balance control at the end, and by the way, don't mind this. I, I just place them there uh, because the 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 the, mi the mixed version of this beat is somehow low, so I had to turn up the volumes. No wonder I implemented some of these, so ignore the EQs and stuff. Yeah. So today we're just working with ozone vintage EQ and tonal balance control, and uh, remember to place it at the end. That's what I do. Yeah. So. What you do now is that uh, you come to the tonal balance control and then you place uh, the opens custom target options and then you click here on the create custom target etc yeah so it pops up this thing then you just have to look for for a song where you want to reference to uh, so for this song i i selected a particular song uh, it's not a Zambian song because you have to get a song that sounds professional. Yeah. And in Zambia, um, I don't know if you'll find any song like that. Anyway, <laughs> I, I mean, there are a lot of great producers and engineers and stuff. Um, um, yeah. So just get a, a song that is professionally done. And in my case, I just picked the song from another country. And you just open it. And it will be it will begin uh, processing here and stuff. So now that the song has been loaded to the tonal balance control, it will show you these things, the the blue things here. So so we want to make sure that our song at least hits somewhere within these blue things right here. Okay. So the low, the low, the low, mid, high, mid, highs, we have to at least make sure that they hit here. So let me play the song without the EQ turned on. Yeah, 
so here it's showing that my 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 bass my my low frequencies are high and my high frequencies are low so now what i need to do is that i need to turn the highs so they can reach somewhere here and turn the lows down so they can reach here that that's how you i can be able to get that professional sound in my mix so what you do now is that you open the vintage eq or any eq that you have i prefer this one so now you play the song and then you start bringing down the the lows and stuff so in order to bring them down you need to Oh, it was switched off yeah so at least you need to get it to a, to a level where yeah it's it's now coming down here so considering the fact that i don't have any monitor speakers this is good it helps a lot so as for the highs we have to raise the highs This can be this can take time, but I won't do any everything. I just wanted to get an idea. So I'm, I'm sure it's the vocals that I placed here. No wonder the highs are Yeah, yeah. There we go. So that that's how you make this thing work and it really improves your, your mixes and all that. So utilize it, okay? Use it. Uh, thank you for watching like subscribe yeah bye for now <laughs>